A Rizé rhythm is an aural illusion where the tempo endlessly accelerates or decelerates like a barber pole. I've been frustrated by the gap between theory and practice, but now with Live's MIDI transformers and generators, I feel like we have a process where composers can work with Rizé illusions on a creative, not a technical level. So to set up our session, the first thing we need to do is go to Arrangement View, and then we're going to turn on Automation, locate the main track, and look at song tempo. So now we're going to change our song tempo from 60 to 120 beats per minute, which is one doubling of 60 beats per minute. And we'll enter in downward automation over across four bars. And this is important because these four bars are your one Rizé cycle. Then Command D to duplicate. Now we're gonna play a, a drum loop that is one Rizé cycle and you can hear it slow down. And then when it reaches the border for the loop, it's like double the speed again, and that's the part that we want to disguise. Now that we have the drum loop in our project, we're going to go to the MIDI generator area and select the MIDI Rizé transform. Now this is going to create a double time version of the drum loop, and if we just play that normally without any muting at all, it's going to be chaos. So this is going to be a decelerating illusion and we're going to use the velocity mode where we take the Rizé phase and apply that to velocity and the result's going to be a mess. It's going to be, you know, you hear a lot of double time stuff. It's going to be twice as fast than you really want it most of the time. Um, but this is a good example of like where the Rizé velocity phase is actually coming from. And it's also good for modular synths. But what we want to do is scale the velocity according to the Rizé phase. And so remember, we've got two layers here. So we've got one fading in, one fading out. And if we scale the velocity, that's going to retain some of the nuance of the original drum loop, but it's still too busy. So now we can use velocity uh, threshold muting to get rid of the notes that are probably not important because they've been scaled down a lot with the Rizé phase and maybe those notes weren't important as much velocity wise because they had lower velocities. And we can continue to kind of chip away at this until we get a drum loop that doesn't sound entirely chaotic and the transition point is somewhere in the middle. If we use the transition bias we can still tune in the layers and how they fade in and what the transition is like across the loop. And now we have a seamless loop, so this is a, this is a good result. So here's a drum loop, and we have kick and snare on one track, and hi-hats on the other. We're going to use the Strata Rizé Transform plugin to alter the phase of where the hi-hats are landing. So let's first focus on the hi-hats. And then we're going to use the, the Strata Rizé Transform plugin, but we have to make this very careful selection first. And then we're just going to adjust our mute points of the double time version. So let's isolate each side and we can see the double time version side versus the single speed version side. And once we can, we can line up any mutes or um, layer or crossfade that we want. And once we've established where that is, then we could further tune in the transition point with the transition bias point parameter. Okay, so one layer doesn't actually complete the illusion. To do this correctly, you need two layers. And so even though it's one drum pattern, we're going to choose a different phase for the kick and snare. So the hi-hats will have a different transition point, and hopefully that'll cover up the, the transition a little bit better. The important part is having a seamless loop here. And then there, there will be a transition sometime inside the loop, but hopefully not happening when everything else transitions. So progressive effects are pretty easy. 
we can do that with the built-in, you know, multiply and divide down of Ableton Live. So I have a, a serum patch with a, a kind of rhythmic modulation that you will actually continue to hear throughout this entire example, but I'm going to exaggerate the accents uh, by changing and doubling this pattern. So we're just going to take the original pattern and double it over four bars, double it again over four bars, double it again over four bars, and the accent is going to get uh, more and more spread out for this progressive effect that plays across the bar line. So let's set our bar line to uh, 16 bars here and listen to the result. Follow the link in the descriptions of this video to my software repository, and you'll find the Strato Rizet Transform device as well as other Rizet tools and examples.